Star Wars fans. Hey, you know there's just 135 days until Christmas 2021. Oh, and we're uh, here to talk about Star Wars today, and I'm using a new platform. I decided to try Streamlabs OBS, and uh, in the past, I've been using OBS for quite some time, but uh, to, when I live stream, I normally go with StreamYard. StreamYard allows us to uh, bring in guests and uh, do a lot of things that uh, was not really comfortable doing in OBS. So Streamlabs has a, uh, uh, an interface for OBS that has a lot of presets in it. So we're going to be trying some of those up today. Uh, hopefully you all can hear me, but I want to show you all a couple of things. So I see Abby is online. Hello there. Oh, and let's see if I can get, uh, let's see. Can, can I get, hold on, where is it? Where, where, where is it? I got, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if I can get this to, uh, let's see, where's the live chat? So live chat, let's try it there. How about that? Oh, there's Abby. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Now you can see, uh, the, so in the, in the chat, now you can see, uh, the, badge you see abby's got a badge that'll be changing color soon uh once we hit the one month mark uh everybody will be getting an updated badge and uh so <laughs> we can see that not only that but uh these uh, show emojis so uh, all of our custom emojis uh, should be loaded in here and the overhead wall of fame <laughs> That's right. So uh, I figured out how to do that as well. So uh, I've moved the wall of fame to up there on the ticker and uh, because uh, stream stream uh, labs will let us do it. <laughs> yeah. And so we can we could do all of these things. And look at that. Uh, it, it works great. And uh, I, I just love it. So, hey, Ronnie Jimenez. Hello. <laughs> Oh, oh, good to see you. Uh, good to see you here. So uh, a lot of this is going to be just trying to figure out how to use Streamlabs. So uh, that's uh, part of what we're what we're trying to do today is uh, get familiar with the uh, it, the format, get familiar with the delivery, and see if we can figure it all out. Uh, I figured out something else. And it's a little bit more news for us is uh, there's been some glitching going on with my video. Hopefully there'll be a lot less of that today. Uh, figured out I'm actually overloading the ports on my uh, laptop. <laughs> this laptop only has a couple of things that I can do. Uh, well, it only has a couple ports. And so uh, I've been uh, using port expanders and plugging everything into it. And it actually was overloading the, the motherboard uh, and the, the processor. So we were getting some glitching going on. As a result, and because Santa is going to be doing uh, virtual visits this year, as well as I did last year, Santa has ordered a new computer. <laughs> we're going to get a desktop computer uh, with uh, more everything more uh more ram we're going to double our ram we're going to go from 16 to 64 or 32 i mean <laughs> 16 to 32 gigs of ram we're going to go with a dedicated video uh card in it uh and we're going to upgrade to uh the the, the newest uh chipset so uh all of that's in there darth maximus hello <laughs> Oh, there you go. You can see the, the, the custom emoji right there. We've got the laughing uh, George Lucas head. So you've got that in there. So we're we're getting there. Good afternoon. No hacks, just Gavin. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, thanks so much for being here. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, again, we're, we're mainly uh, learning to use Streamlabs. There's a few things that I still need to port over. And uh, you all let me know, how was the intro? Could you hear it fine? Was it too low? I had it turned down for my speakers, but uh, hopefully it was streaming at full uh, full strength for you guys. Uh, if it was really, really low, let me know and I'll adjust that. And uh, that uh, if you could hear us as well. Uh, I like being able to make out the avatars. I do too, Ducky. So, 
<laughs> I played with this uh, sizing here. I want to be able to get all of the text in. So uh, folks that put in extra long text, I want to be able to get that in there. Oh, which reminds me, uh, there is something I didn't do here. And, uh, and now it's going to make that smaller. I think I need to reduce the size of that just so if we get extra long text, we can see it all. How about that? That's that's not bad. That's not bad. You can still see it. Where's where is Meg? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen her yet. Uh, of course, I just put this out recently. So uh, as I was getting things ready, she might not uh, make it uh, here today on such short notice. But I put it. Oh, everything's loud and clear. Thanks, Darth Maximus. And look at that. We've got we. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the snow troopers. And there's a couple other things here that Streamlabs allows is if we get uh, new members, somebody subscribes to the channel, we get a new subscriber, and uh, you will get a notice and you'll show up right here. Uh, your, your, uh, your name will come up here as a new subscriber to the channel. If you join, uh, you, that, that should also pop up there. I'm, I'm, at least I'm hoping. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, of course, Super Chats and all of that should automatically uh, pop up uh, right over Santa's shoulder, right here. Uh, and we've got, a neat, uh, we've got a neat graphic for that. Let me show you what that looks like. We, we did get a new subscriber here recently. And you see there, Vader Kev. <laughs> Vader Kev. And see, we've got the Snow Trooper. We've got all of that customized. Uh, we're actually going to work on getting that Snow Trooper animated. So uh, it'll move. So when you join the channel, you'll be recognized uh, that way as well. So uh, I'm really, really uh, excited about uh, some of these changes we're making. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep trying to kind of push the envelope. And as I get that new laptop, it should, or no, not laptop, new desktop, it should be able to increase what we can do here as well. Uh, I should be able to use that new mic that I have. I unplugged the mic so that the glitching would stop, but uh, hopefully some of that stuff will happen. Hey, Press Play Streaming Studios. Hello there. <laughs> oh, we can see that icon nice and large. Uh, and so, uh, again, I'm I'm trying to learn my way around, trying to learn how all of this works, and uh, we're going to talk about the Andor news. So uh, that's the topic today. We've got uh, Andor uh, casting, and they've got it. Uh, they've got a guy. <laughs> they've got a guy. And uh, uh, let me pull up. And I, uh, I apologize. I didn't have this set up on the uh, on this on the sharing. Uh, here that I can bring up on screen. That's something I still need to work out. Uh, and uh, we, if you guys will be patient with me, maybe I'll get that uh, up in a little bit. I, I, I already know how to use OBS, and so I should be able to add uh, this kind of information. So uh, we learned, uh, and or they have cast Alex Lothar, and that was on Meg's video today. She talked a little bit about that. Uh, Alex Lothar, and uh, if you've not heard of him, he's in his 20s, uh, so he's a 20-something. He's not quite 30 yet. <laughs> he's just younger than my oldest uh, daughter. And Alex uh, has been, uh, he, he's in the UK. Uh, he's from Petersfield, Hampshire, England. <laughs> so he's over there in the UK, and uh, he's known for his role as Alec, Alan Turing in the Imitation Game of 2014. Uh, and I'm just reading that off of IMDb, checking it out. Uh, but the, the rumors are that he's been cast as part of the Andor set as a young 20-something. Uh, and he's, uh, I think, 27, if my if my memory is correct. He's born in 95. 95, uh, so um, my, my daughter uh, was born in 91. 91, uh, 95, four-year difference. He's 26. There you go. Uh, he's 26 years old. Alex Lothar, 26 years old, and uh, he is uh, now part of the Andor uh, uh, set. So part of the Andor casting. Uh, well, I haven't seen that we know uh, who he's going to be playing, but it's uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, that's the, the latest news there from Andor. Now we're expecting Andor to come out in next year, 2022, and uh, as part of the scheduling, and which ties in a little bit to some other news that Meg was sharing earlier and that's out there. We we know that the Book of Boba Fett is going to start in December. It's going to go into uh, January, possibly February, 
depending on the start date in December. So I'm, I'm expecting it to go into mid-February. And uh, if that's the case, then we should go right on to, uh, <laughs> we should share a birthday, do you, Jake? Jake, uh, born the same year. Uh, that's great. Uh, yeah, who do you think he'll be? So who would this uh, young actor uh, portray? Alex Lothar. I'm guessing it's a new character, somebody we don't know yet. Uh, we're going back to uh, the kind of a prequel to Rogue One. And uh, I don't think he's going to be any of the characters that we saw in Rogue One. So I'm expecting him to be entirely new. It's very possible he could be part of the Inquisitor uh, Inquisitorial, right? Uh, it's possible he could be an Inquisitor. It's possible he could be a Jedi. Or uh, he might be uh, uh, kind of hanging out there uh, with the, the main cast. Uh, we just don't know. Um, I would I would guess it'll be a brand new character. Nobody from Rogue One. Let's put it that way. Nobody from Rogue One. Hey, Reefer Man Reviews has made it. Hey, oh, good to see you, Wayne. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we're testing out this. Uh, and, and what's up, guys? Star Wars MCU OG uh, has made it. We're testing out Streamlabs and talking about Star Wars. So uh, there you go. Uh, Reefer Man, can't really stay, but listening. Appreciate it so much. Uh, really appreciate your support, uh, Wayne. It, it means a lot to us here uh, as we build a community. And, you know, I'm often lax on this. Uh, we're part of the Nerd Holla Network. And the Nerd Holla Network is a group of different content creators. We, most of us, met as part of the Den of Nerds. And we started our YouTube channels or Twitch or, or, or whatever the platform is that you might use. Uh, we, start the, we started those as a result. Hey, Trinity's here. <laughs> we started the, uh, our channels. We started uh, as a part of the Den and Nerds community. And uh, as we've grown and as we've kind of branched out on our own, we have put together a group of content creators. Uh, myself included, included Burke the Nerd. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got Stormy over there uh, in uh, in the UK. Mike the Kang Porter. Hello, <laughs> hello, Mike. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Uh, and uh, we've got folks like Trinity involved. We've got uh, tro folks uh, f across different uh, uh, communities or different uh, content types. We got Marvel, of course, uh, uh, Trinity, Fanjecture. Hey, Adam, good to see you. <laughs> We've got a bunch of folks put together uh, in the Nerd Holla Network, and it's just to help support one another, promote one another, uh, collaborate with one another. And uh, if you are interested in uh, helping support a bunch of smaller content creators, uh, but myself included, uh, and and some of those other folks that I mentioned. We've got other uh, content creators coming on board. We're trying to bring in more and grow that network. Go check out the Nerd Holla Network. And I keep being lax in this. I want to show you guys. I've got a uh, a, a video here. Uh, it's an outro. I'm supposed to play this as an exit on my way out. Every time I'm going to play this real quick and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Uh, check out the uh, uh, Nerd Holla Network outro and, uh, and we'll come right back. There we go. <laughs> hey there, Dale. Uh, and uh, Star Wars Real Talk. Uh, uh, good to see you. Uh, yeah, so Nerd Hollow, it's, it's a bunch of content creators that are trying to support one another and create a network, a community, where we can uh, promote each other, help one another, support one another. And with the Nerd Hollow bit, uh, we got help from Russell. So you have you may have seen Russell around, uh, again, he was part of the old timers in Den of Nerds, uh, but he's been out helping a lot of our channels 
uh, with graphics. He did my intro. Uh, he created that Nerd Holla outro video for us as well. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Mike the Kang Porter is involved in Nerd Holla, and he is a tremendous member of the community as a whole. But what it allows us to do as content creators is uh, to kind of, oh, looky here, we have a new member. Oh, <laughs> it worked like a charm. Ciara, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to hit that again. We got a brand new uh, member here of the channel, became a member of the Blizzard Battalion. Thank you so much, uh, Ciara. Appreciate that so much. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're we're uh, they're talking Marvel on the den now. Exactly, DC nerd, <laughs> DC fandom, uh, and uh, there's there's in, uh, there's insufficient DC representation in the in the in the den, <laughs> and I think there's probably insufficient DC representation within Nerd Holla. So we're always looking for uh, content creators who are passionate. Uh, and positive. We we like to talk about the content and stay away from a lot of the drama and uh, uh, social kind of stuff that happen and to kind of take people's eyes off of the content. And we've got some big uh, DC stuff coming, like Titans Season 3, right? So there's great stuff, things like that. Uh, <laughs> very good. Spencer, hey! <laughs> <laughs> By default, you know, it's like saying you're my favorite uh, 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 dad, right? You've got uh, one dad or you're my favorite mom. You got one mom. Uh, so you could have that as well. I remember one time when I was a uh, middle school teacher, I was a social studies teacher, seventh grade, and I gave an extra bonus point on uh, on an exam, on a quiz. And it said, who is your favorite, uh, whatever the period was, fourth period, fifth period, uh, a social studies teacher. And uh, there was the math teacher, the English teacher, the science teacher, and me listed. And <laughs> it was a, it was a, you know a, a multiple choice. Uh, pick your pick that right answer. You know some people wouldn't pick me <laughs> because they didn't like me at all. They were like, no, uh, by default, I, you know there was only one social studies teacher on the list, uh, but they weren't willing to get the bonus point to pick. <laughs> To pick me so uh that i appreciate that so much spencer uh so uh you guys uh more star wars stuff we've we uh talked a little bit uh and about uh <laughs> meg star wars meg she comes and hangs out in our chat a lot of times but uh meg had a video this morning about the uh timing for when we will get uh yeah i need to get my irish name pronouncing you know mark whenever you're ready Whenever you want, I will be happy to bring you in to get Irish pronunciations correct because I'm quite sure that you are a master of the of the Irish dialect and, <laughs> and that your accent would work perfectly with the uh, <laughs> with uh, uh, those Irish names. That would that would do it. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah, they should have a Star Wars history class, Ronnie. <laughs> That's good. Hey, we've got Lunga here. Good to see you, Lunga, uh, again. So part of this, I reached out to Lunga uh, because I've been watching uh, the Great Council and uh, part of uh, his uh, support. And, uh, and uh, I noticed that he was using a few overlays and different things. And I was specifically interested in this guy right here. Right? How are you getting these overlays to happen in a in a better way? Uh, Lunga pointed me to a uh, Chrome extension that does this fantastically. Hey, X Wings here. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mark. There's no chance, but you can give me a hard time about my Irish pronunciations. I'm going to give you a hard time about not. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, you want to contrast up a tad. I'm being wired out. Yeah, I've got to work on some of my lighting. Uh, I appreciate that, Lunga. I've, I've uh, had to move into a different room in the house. We're getting ready to do some remodeling, and the lighting in here is different. And so I've got to, I, I do have to work on that. Uh, you're absolutely right. I appreciate the coaching. Uh, so Lunga is, Lunga loves to come in and troll me, and I love to go in uh, his channel and troll him, but we're good friends, and I really, really do appreciate the mentoring and the coaching. Uh, that he has offered. He's been fantastic. So uh, appreciate it. Uh, so we're talking about when does, when does, uh, when will we see the Mandalorian season three? Well, 
uh, Meg shared with us this morning that they're supposed to give us that within the next month. We're supposed to learn when Mandalorian Season 3 is going to be uh, uh, released. And then she mentioned something that I thought was worth bringing up. We've got... Uh, she mentioned the Mandoverse or the Floniverse. People uh, use those two terms interchangeably. And uh, in the Mandoverse or Floniverse, uh, whichever your preference is. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks so much, uh, Lunga. You're, you're, you truly are a, a, a terrific person. And I am glad that we've got to meet you and uh, become friends. So, uh, and I will be happy to troll you anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, because uh, he, he uh, we we give him a hard time because he doesn't like Omega. But oh, X Wing sick. Oh no, X Wing. Uh, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Uh, that's uh, terrible. Uh, so uh, get some rest. Get uh, plenty of. Hey, look there. We got the emojis going. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Mark's got to get back to work. Very good, Mark. Uh, so. Uh, in the Mandiverse, Filoniverse, there uh, a lot of people talk about, uh, of course, the Book of Boba Fett, and then we've got uh, Mando season three. Uh, we're aware of Ahsoka that that's coming as a, a, a series, and then there's a fourth series that uh, the Rangers of the New Republic that was put on hold, shelved. Um, due to the whole dust up there with uh, <laughs> uh, that, that we all know about, right? So uh, without going there, with, so that whole dust up uh, kind of put Rangers on hold, and um, supposedly that has not been canceled. It was widely reported that Rangers was canceled because a lot of times when things go uh, uh, shelved, they never make it back off, and so uh, in this case. Uh, we have heard that uh, Rangers of the New Republic is actually being written, rewritten uh, at this uh, time right now by uh, uh, John Favreau is writing it. So uh, it is rumored that, uh, again, it's rumor. I, I don't have sources myself. I'm getting it third hand. So I'm just sharing with you. Rangers of the New Republic appears to be uh, still in the works. Uh, just being written at this point. Hey, Sheev's here. Good to see you. <laughs> Omega's the best. I love Omega. Uh, everybody loves Omega. I, you, you know, I've even heard rumors that Lunga secretly loves Omega. He just has to, you know, take on a, a certain act when he's on camera. So, you know, when he's when he's on camera, he's performing. He's putting on a show for folks. He's making good quality entertainment. And so. As part of that, Lunga pretends that he doesn't like Omega. So uh, you know, every time you hear, every time you hear Lunga say how he hates Omega, know that in his heart he truly loves her. You know, right? Just <laughs> uh, uh, Rangers might come back. What does it mean for Gina? It probably doesn't mean uh, anything for her. Uh, Rangers is being rewritten by John Favreau. I'm certain that uh, that they're writing Gina's role out. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be. So, see, there you go. There's there's Lunga again. He's he's got this personality. He's got to <laughs> he he's got to support. So he's got to come out and say he's got to come out and say these things to, to, to keep his street cred. But you guys know the truth now. You guys <laughs> you guys know the truth. Lunga Lunga secretly loves. Uh, yeah, who was the original writer for Rangers? Good question, Jake. Uh, uh, it was probably Favreau uh, uh, who wrote the original because there's there's a story in the community going around how um, uh, <laughs> yeah ah <laughs> uh, Lunga he, 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 Sydney Omega Merchant he'll burn it on the live stream <laughs> uh, uh, Lunga there is coming a day. There's coming a day where I will send you some Omega merch. That's <laughs> that's gonna happen. But um, who was the original writer for Rangers? Uh, I, there's a there's a story out there that Favreau uh, really uh, pulled for Gina to be in part of uh, the the uh, uh, Mandalorian. And when she was uh, let go, that uh, he has been secretly behind the scenes, kind of pulling for her. So. Um, uh, do I have any story details at all? Um, well, 
I don't have any story details X Wing, but um, we have heard from uh, Jason Ward uh, with MakingStarWars.net. Jason Ward has been reporting this for a, a few weeks now that John Favreau's actually he has heard uh, from in from his sources that uh, that that Favreau is writing Rangers. So we don't have the story details yet. We don't know what they're doing with Gina's character, if they're recasting her, if they're just writing her out. I suspect they're writing her out and he's rewriting the story uh, without her character involved. So uh, that's, that's the deal there. Uh, so uh, yeah, Andor is going to be awesome. I'm super excited for that as well. So <laughs> Lunga, the resident kid hater. That's... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so if if we get Rangers of the New Republic, that goes in the, the in that Mandoverse as well. But there's another series that people often confuse with uh, Ahsoka, and that is the Thrawn and Ezra series. That is supposed to be its own series. So in the Mandoverse, Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian season three, Ahsoka, Rangers which is in the uh, in the writing process at this point. Uh, uh, rumors have that uh, John Favreau is writing it right now. And then we've got the uh, Thrawn and Ezra show. Now we've heard recently th about Thrawn and Ezra being cast. That news has been confirmed and out there. But the assumption every single time is that they're going to be part of the Ahsoka show. And that's because in Mando season two, Ahsoka says, uh, uh, where's your boss, right? Where's Grand Admiral Thrawn? So, um, <laughs> where is, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the chat here. Uh, <laughs> Wanga, I really appreciate it. So, a Thrawn and Ezra series. Yes, Ronnie. Uh, and, uh, the folks that were with the, um, uh, oh shoot, their, their, their show just, uh, uh, broke apart. Uh, it'll come to me in a moment. Uh, they they were reporting that this was it's going to be its own series. Now the the thought has the thought has been for a long time that uh, the Thrawn and Ezra were going to be part of the Ahsoka series because Ahsoka says, "Where is your boss, uh, 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 Grand Admiral Thrawn?" And we see the Seventh Fleet symbols on there and all of that. So uh, the if uh, he shows up in the Ahsoka series, that's a natural connection. However, uh, it's my belief. And again, this is just Santa's uh, <laughs> prognostication. It's that I've got no sources. I have nothing that uh, can confirm this part specifically. Uh, that uh, the, the Ahsoka series is going to be them searching for Grand Admiral Thrawn. And there's a new uh, report that came out uh, today. It came out uh, just over an hour ago from the Hollywood Reporter that uh, uh, Dawson is leading a live action Ahsoka spinoff. Sources saying Lucasfilm is looking for an actress to star opposite Dawson as Sabine Wren. Now that makes yeah Kessel Run transmissions. Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah, KRT uh, uh, Kessel Run is who I was thinking of. Kessel Run reported that Ahsoka and Thrawn was going to be its own series. Well, subsequent to that. Uh, I've heard that, uh, I believe Jason Ward has mentioned it, as well as I've, I've seen other places that... <laughs> prognostication. Look, it's not every... Prognostication. Look, five-syllable word. Not every day you can do that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the, the, the Soka series is very likely to pick up straight off of that Rebels uh, epilogue scene, where... Uh, uh, Ahsoka comes and finds Sabine, and then they uh, uh, go to find Ezra. And the reason, and I saw this uh, yesterday uh, on a lot of things as well, saying that uh, that uh, Ahsoka may not be searching for Thrawn, uh, that uh, she may actually be searching for Ezra. Well, that's what this is where Santa likes to say, no kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's been my assumption all along. And this is where Trev and I have been kind of going back and forth because Trev believes that Thrawn's already back. Santa believes that Thrawn and Ezra are together. And so when when Ahsoka uh, uh, goes in The Mandalorian Season 2 says, where's your boss? Where's Grand Admiral Thrawn? Uh, that's because 
there's the connection between Morgan Elsbeth and uh, and Thrawn. So she's going to naturally ask where Thrawn is because if she finds Thrawn, she finds Ezra. And I think the Ahsoka series is going to follow from Mandalorian season two with Ahsoka searching for Thrawn and Ezra. <laughs> And that that series will come to its conclusion, similar to how uh, Rebels ended, when they find uh, Thrawn. We'll get uh, Rangers that will follow, and I saw somebody put it in the chat earlier. Let me see if I can go up and find it. Yes, uh, Harrison Dula was a, a write uh, if and, uh, Hera was always uh, rumored to be part of the Rangers. Uh, Rangers of the New Republic. Uh, the, the rewrite is more around the, the Rangers, uh, 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 around Hera and the Ghost Crew. And so if we get Ahsoka series, uh, we could get the Rangers series happening concurrently that tells what's going on with, uh, with Hera and the Ghost Crew. Then the third series would be Thrawn and Ezra. And all three of those series happen during the same time telling different perspectives of the same story. We've seen this in lots of shows where they go and show like, you know, two hours earlier and you're on a different path, right? And they'll rewind and they'll show a different path. So you'll see the same story and they come together at the end. And here's my belief, again, Santa's uh, prognostication. <laughs> well, Santa's prediction is that we're gonna end up with all of those. So we're gonna get uh, Ahsoka, Rangers, uh, and the Thrawn Ezra show happened concurrently, coming to its uh, end with them meeting. And then we'll end up with a, a movie event or a subsequent series that ties all three of those together. So that's where my thought is on all of that. So, uh, look, <laughs> uh, hey, there's Meg. Uh, 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 Meg saying Rangers will be centered around Carson and Wolf. Uh, I uh, 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 I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that yet, Meg. Uh, but uh, that's that's very good. And welcome. Good to see you here. <laughs> I'm trying out Streamlabs, uh, and we're uh, I'm trying to learn my way uh, around. So let's see. Uh, Zeb in live action, right? And I've been saying, look, I think they could do Zeb in live action because they've done uh, uh, Beast from uh, the uh, X-Men. If they could do Beast from the X-Men, they could do Zeb in uh, Star Wars. So uh, that's that's absolutely where my head is on all of that. So uh, yeah, I, I saw Meg's video earlier and she was talking about the Manduverse, Filoniverse, and uh, I wanted to bring up that the Thrawn Ezra series could be its own series. Not that Thrawn and Ezra are limited to the Ahsoka series. They may make an appearance in the Ahsoka series, but there's rumors uh, that, and I've heard from a couple of sources now, uh, uh, KRT, one of them being one, that said uh, that the Ahsoka and Thrawn, or the Thrawn and Ezra will be its own series. So there you go. Jamie Stangroom interview the Carson actor, and he will be back for more. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's fantastic, Meg. Uh, that's very exciting. Uh, and I think it would be interesting to see that. Uh, if uh, if that's the case. Uh, uh, they did Juggernaut and Deadpool. Sure, I, I think they could do Zeb. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would be too hard. Uh, it, it might be expensive, but they're getting better and better with that, and so it's not, it's not as uh, costly as it has been. So I just wanted to build on Meg's video uh, where she mentioned uh, the Mandoverse, but uh, did not have those listed, uh, the Ahsoka, uh, or I mean the <laughs> the Thrawn Ezra show as its own series. Uh, there's there's it's very possible that that'll be part of that same same uh, thing. So wanted to bring that up. Uh, and again, for those who uh, have come in, I'm um, I'm learning Stream Labs. Uh, part of this is just hanging out and talking about some Star Wars. Uh, a big part of it is me figuring out this Stream Labs thing. <laughs> So it's a little bit different. Uh, so uh, the Ahsoka series will be fine. Oh, they bring in Eli somehow. Eli, oh, that would be tr uh, tremendous, Meg. And uh, it would be great to see uh, Eli brought into the Thrawn Ezra series. So if we're going to follow Thrawn and Ezra, perhaps in the uh, 
in the chaos, in the uh, <laughs> in the ascendancy, then uh, uh, Eli Vanta would be a tremendous figure to bring into live action. I would love to see that. I would absolutely love to see that. Uh, they did the four-handed guy from Solo. <laughs> they could do Zeb. Yes, uh, the, right. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll see Bosk in a Bad Batch Season 2 or Book of Boba. I'm pretty sure we'll see Bosk in both of those, uh, Matthew. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll see uh, both. Uh, Harold make Ezra a leader when they reunite. Well, here's one of the things. Oh, yeah. This this is not a this we can talk about anything uh, X wing <laughs> we can we can kind of branch out because a big part of me is figuring out this little widget this is a this is a uh, I'm using Streamlabs not Streamyard and to do this uh, requires uh, a plugin that goes in your web browser and so I'm making sure I have it all uh, set up here and uh, could it tie into the Mandiverse somehow. Right. So I think that's where uh, Meg, uh, her comment is so good. If if we see in the Thrawn Ezra show, Eli Vanta brought in, then we could see that tied into the Thrawn novels. Absolutely. And we could see characters from the Thrawn novels begin to work in. And, you know, X-Wing, I'm a huge fan. And Coop, who's a, a, a good friend of ours as well. Uh, yeah, Eli's with the Chiss. Exactly, Ronnie. That's how it would tie into the books because Eli uh, was put on loan to the Chiss Ascendancy and they brought some Chiss into the <laughs> on loan as well. So it was a, a bit of a of a uh, ex foreign exchange program, right? So if that's the cat, uh, case, that would be uh, fantastic to tie it into the Mandoverse now, uh, which sets up Thrawn post Return of the Jedi. Uh, would, uh, and we're already expecting that in the Thrawn Ezra series or in the um, Ahsoka series or both. Uh, but in those those novels, we don't in the new novels we don't have Thrawn post Return of the Jedi. Those novels happen uh, during the original trilogy and, and prequel trilogy. So uh, it would be interesting to see Thrawn uh, post and to see where they go. Uh, with that, as it may tie back to the original Heir to the Empire. Uh, I think that it would be tough to necessarily get those, but it would be good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rio Durant has an, uh, a similar last name to the new character in the Bad Batch. Roland Durant. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Uh, but you don't want to see Mara Jade brought in. Um, but, it, it would be tough. And this is, Meg, I, I, I fear when they bring in beloved uh, legends, characters, that uh, the, the relationship people have with these characters will be so strong that anything they do with them that uh, varies from those uh, legends, uh, those legends characters would cause an outrage in the, in the fandom. And so you bring Mara Jade in, as much as people would love to see her, Mara Jade has a particular role through there. And if you change her, you say, well, we know what happened in Legends, but we're not going to tell that story. We're going to tell a different story with, with a character called Mara Jade, who shares some attributes of Mara Jade, but isn't the Mara Jade you love and know and grew up with and have this uh, strong attachment to, then people will get upset. If you use Mara Jade the way that she was from Legends, then you run into problems with some of the new content. So I think it's really, really difficult to bring in a character like Mara Jade uh, specifically. As much as I would love to see her in live action, I think it would be really tough for those reasons. Uh, <laughs> Meg, Meg, stirring the pot again. Uh, Meg loves <laughs> Uh, actually, one thing you need to learn uh, when Meg's in the chat, uh, she, she's Henri. You have to, you have to understand she's she's uh, Henri. I can't always click on her comments because she's <laughs> she is uh, her her wit is uh, tremendous. She brings a lot of entertainment to the chat, and uh, and, and she's quick. She, she's really really quick. You got to watch that. Uh, get yourself a stream deck. Uh, you know, Press Play uh, Streaming Studios, that is on my radar. 
uh, for something that I want to do uh, down the road. So as we grow and as we get uh, more comfortable here, I, I would love to do that. Uh, so <laughs> Oh my goodness, Mark. Uh, so here we go with the L's with benefits thing again. You know, Meg Meg coined that term for us, and <laughs> it's it's on it's one of those things we we got to have L's with benefits uh, merch made for with, with Star Wars Santa. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, and and Meg is an elf with no benefits. She's all, she's part of that L's with no benefits club. And you know, you guys, we've got a thing worked out here where uh, if you become a member of the channel, then your name will show up right here, right over Santa's shoulder. Uh, it gets pulled up in the notifications. So, uh, <laughs> yes, Jake is right. When when Meg shows up, the chat turns to 18 plus. You know, <laughs> that's not that's not wrong. That's <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. D there are some great female characters uh that are in legends as well as the new star wars uh content and i would absolutely love to see a series set in the chiss ascendancy uh make sure that you get timothy zahn uh, as part of the uh the writer's room for that series and give us something out there that's uh <laughs> meg meg you're trouble yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh Meg, I love her so much. Uh, she's she's fantastic for this channel, and she's working on some stuff for me, and I'm I'm super excited about that as well. Oh look here, look what we got, Matthew Cruz. <laughs> oh, thank you for the super chat, uh, Matthew Vader in Andor. Um, the perhaps we would get a Vader uh, cameo at some point. Uh, it would be. Of course, we get the Vader hallway scene there in uh, Rogue One. So would we get Vader in Andor? Uh, he's he's milling around. It's like uh, would we get Vader in the Bad Batch? Uh, he's milling around somewhere. He's out there. Uh, so it's, it's absolutely possible we could get that. Uh, see, here you go. I'm not going to read it, but there you you can see Meg. <laughs> Uh, uh, she's absolutely brilliant. Uh, uh, her, her <laughs> she's so smart and uh, and quick witted. Uh, I can't keep up, and uh, she's she's tremendous in the chat. So uh, hey, you guys. Um, there's a couple other things to to, to uh, discuss here uh, briefly. One is, and I didn't know if you guys saw this. I'm going to try to set this up sort of on the fly, and let's see how well uh, Santa can do it, adding content to the stream. And, and uh, again, if you're just coming in, Santa's using Streamlabs for the very first time, Streamlabs OBS. And, uh, <laughs> and so I'm, I'm figuring out how, how to do these things. So let me see if I can do a window capture, uh, add the source and uh, add a new one. And we're gonna, we're gonna call it a preview. And then I'm gonna add it. Uh, um, window, I'm going to pick, where is it? Here it is. Look at there. Done. And now I got to move this thing around so you guys can all see. So, um, look, there's, there's, uh, uh, I saw this just before we came on, uh, and, uh, there's this preview here, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, uh, Last Call, official trailer. Oh, <laughs> oh, X-Wing. So, Thank you so, so much, X-Wing, for the super chat. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. But have, have you guys seen this? Are you guys familiar with this trailer uh, or, or this this game? This is a, uh, a game. Uh, this is from Star Wars Gaming. Uh, Tales from Galaxy's Edge, Last Call. And uh, it's fairly short, so just uh, under a minute. I'm going to play this for you all. Here you go. Question. Oh. Let's see if we can get it to play. It's it's paused up on me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's let's try again. Let's try again. One more try. How are you with top secret stuff? I find myself in need of a pair of capable hands. Hands that will be. Oh, it's gonna. It's, it, the bandwidth is becoming a problem. 
uh, and so anyway, there's this trailer out. <laughs> oh, there's this trailer. Uh, you guys can go find it out there. And it's um, uh, for uh, Tales from Galaxy's Edge, Last Call. Uh, it's an official trailer that came out. So uh, <laughs> uh, so here's X-Wing. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, we did get those open. Uh, and uh, and X-Wing, this is part of being the... Uh, I've seen the tremendous growth that you and I have both seen coming off of being part of uh, Theories Council. So I uh, appreciate that so much, X-Wing. Uh, that means a ton to me. Uh, and to have your support, to have you on here. Again, get some rest, feel better, and I hope that we're able to give you some entertainment here while you are uh, uh, recuperating. <laughs> uh, where did... Uh, 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 yeah, Meg. <laughs> I am. The naughty list. <laughs> Every time YouTubers share the screens, I'm compelled to see the recommended videos. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you can see some of mine are around uh, building computers and using uh, Streamlabs right now because I'm trying to figure this this uh, this thing out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, uh, but it's you know it seems to be working really really well and um, uh, really appreciative. Uh, for Christmas, I'd like Vader in the finale of Bad Batch. Ooh, <laughs> that'd be good. And you see there, you can see uh, Matthew Cruz's uh, badge. This is going to change colors. It's gonna, <laughs> we're, we're coming up on our 30 days since monetization. And when we opened up channel memberships, and Matthew Cruz is one of our first members, and he should show up with a different color uh, uh, badge here very soon, and that'll be uh, fun. Go, they they change uh, for one month, two, three, six, twelve, and twenty-four. <laughs> uh, uh, so there you go. Uh, that fee, that'll feed at least fifty elves with Santa's ration. <laughs> Zex wing ten dollars. You can feed fifty elves. Uh, <laughs> fifty elves for a day on ten dollars. Uh, Santa's rations. Well, elves that are small. They. <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually come in all different sizes. So, oh, Bad Batch predictions. Let's go. So, uh, we have our predictions out there. You'll find the link to the predictions. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, there, there is a link to the Bad Batch predictions. It's on my, it's on my Discord, and I intended to put it in the uh, description here. Uh, if not, we'll get that put into the description. And next week, I'll go. I'll go pop it into your Discord as well. Uh, and it is a ton of fun. Uh, Meg has her predictions in for the Bad Batch season finale. I've got mine in. Uh, our folks are coming in. And oh, there you go. Oh, and Meg, you bring up another point. Thank you so much for uh, uh, reminding me. Uh, <laughs> you'd like a Funko. Uh, and uh, you'd like Funko to get their Skittles together and make a Yaddo Funko Pop. Yaddle Funko Pop. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've been reading the High Republic novels, and in this last one, it says Out of the Shadows, uh, Yaddle makes an appearance. And you know what? Yaddle doesn't speak Yoda speak. She speaks normal. She <laughs> her her dialogue in there with one of the main characters, uh, she speaks with uh, completely normally, uh, with not the none of that backwards speak in there. So the big question. Uh, do all of Yoda's speeches uh, speak in the same format that that Yoda does? Answer: No. Uh, Yaddle, in fact, does not. And um, and we also have um, we <laughs> we also have uh, uh, some of these uh, characters like Babu Frick are in the uh, latest wave. And, and we're going to do a, a book review at some point. I've got to go back and look again. But uh, there's a character in there that reminds me very much of the Bindu. Uh, it's not the Bindu. It's another. But I think it's of the same line. Uh, it's made from that uh, uh, same creature that the Bindu is uh, who shows up in there. So uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> a Meg and a Santa Funko. Uh, that <laughs> Uh, season two can be the adventures of Gonky and Sid. Where uh, oh, I saw up here. Ex uh, everyone could still die, and it could be the Ghost Batch next season. Uh, you know, uh, there's another point that I've been thinking a lot about lately is a lot of the content that we have for Star Wars right now. 
uh, and I saw this brought up in, I think Meg brought it up in a, a, one of the comics, is there doesn't seem to be any uh, consequence that uh, even people who seemingly could be killed, secondary, tertiary characters uh, who get, uh, you know, yeeted off of a cliff, uh, end up that they're just bumped and bruised and they get up and they walk away. So <laughs> what happens? What's going on? Can characters actually die? Uh, and and uh, and we're in this time frame where a lot of the characters that we have, uh, we know their future. So you, we know that the, the, none of the consequences that they may face uh, are uh, have any long long term effect. So uh, one of the things that I've been enjoying about the High Republic is one of the major Jedi characters, one of the main characters from that book, uh, from that series, has died. And so uh, that's a really big deal. Yeah, we need gravitas, right? <laughs> You're not wrong, X-Wing. And in the High Republic, uh, we do see uh, a, a, a Jedi Knight, a, a really powerful Jedi Knight, uh, killed. And uh, it has major effect. And so uh, it's one of, the, one of the kind of nice things about that series. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's, we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so... Uh, that's been exciting as well. Uh, and so I, I talked a little bit about Yaddle. I, I was trying to remember that. Um, yeah, a kid's show isn't necessarily the place to have major characters die anyway. We've seen characters killed in uh, the Bad Batch. In that season uh, premiere, we saw them uh, uh, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> roasted alive with the flamethrowers, right? So we've seen character, uh, uh, them kill people uh, just off camera, right? You're not going to show it necessarily, but it's like the it's like the Clone Wars where you saw dead bodies floating in space and that kind of thing. Um, but would you see a major character die? And I think that Crosshair's days may be numbered, and we may actually see Crosshair die and the effects of that that carry on through uh, season two. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, X-Wing, you've been missing it. On Friday mornings when we do our uh, uh, live watch parties and uh, we watch the Bad Batch episode, Meg has been in the chat and uh, she, she, <laughs> she keeps it real. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, that's something else I want to talk about. So there's, there's two other things I want to bring up here uh, today. Uh, look, I think this has gone fairly well with Streamlabs. I've got some more things to learn, like how to bring in a guest and bit better at sharing content and things like that. But uh, there's a couple of things I want to bring up. So uh, last Friday during a live watch party, I put up a uh, poll and I asked, should Santa do a live watch at the premiere when when the Bad Batch premieres at like 3 a.m. Eastern? Um, and the, the vote was uh, almost 80% said yes. But the more I slept on it, the more I think about it, the more I don't want to do that. <laughs> There's a couple of reasons for that. One is exactly what we're talking about. Uh, Meg coming into the chat uh, and, and interacting with us. We have so much fun at, during our live watch parties uh, because of the chat, what's going on in there, and just their being able to react. And if I do it at 3 a.m., Meg will be doing her... Uh, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you guys uh, watch the chat. I'm not going to highlight certain messages, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so uh, if I go live at 3 a.m., Meg will be doing her. She'll be watching, taking notes, and then preparing her content that she puts out every Friday morning. The summary of the show and all of that. Plus, we've got Star Wars Theory out there doing uh, his live watch parties. We've got Sheev the Wise. Sheev the Wise, one of our uh, one of our uh, <laughs> community members as well, who does the live watch parties at 3 a.m. And if I go do mine at 3 a.m., uh, <clears throat> I don't see that uh, that I'm adding anything to uh, that, and that I would actually miss some of the stuff that happens at 7.30 a.m. Eastern because uh, getting Meg in the in the chat and getting our community in the chat after they've seen it and many times they're reacting from their second or third time through and they're able to uh, 
<laughs> Mark, what, what, why do you encourage Meg so much? That's what I want to know. I want to know why, <laughs> why you encourage her. You know, you know what her tendencies are, and you go give her content like that. <laughs> just can't can't talk i thought you were i thought you were in rehearsals you you got you're supposed to be at work mark <laughs> get back to work um <laughs> oh no oh no so yeah i think i want to stay uh at the uh 7 30 a.m eastern this friday and uh yeah if... <laughs> oh my goodness um and uh so that'll be friday 7 30 a.m and then uh meg uh we're going to try to figure out if meg and i can do a live stream later in the day friday uh maybe right after i don't know we'll see if we can schedule something to uh, uh have another collaboration we had so much fun uh on santa's birthday and getting to talk to Meg and then having Meg in our chat has been just wonderful. And uh, I, I love her so much. Her content is tremendous. So uh, we've, we've been chatting back and forth. And uh, if I can work out a, a nice uh, schedule, then Meg and I could get on and uh, do a live stream, another collab. Talk about the Bad Batch season as a whole. And uh, maybe uh, do a little forecasting into season two, what season two looks like after we've seen the season finale. Uh, so uh, look for that, uh, more information on that as it comes. So those are the two things this Friday I want to bring up and um, make sure that you all are aware of. Uh, and let me check, <clears throat> let me check one more time. Um, <laughs> let me check one more time. Uh, to see if I can get the uh, predictions. I want to make sure X-Wing's here in the chat, and I want to make sure X-Wing gets his chance to get his predictions in. It'll be great to uh, be able to go through his this uh, this Friday morning. Let me see if I can find it here. Bad Batch, and uh, pull those predictions in. Here we go. Here we go. Season finale predictions right here. And let me see if I can uh, get it in here uh, for all of you. Let's see if that'll, let's see if it'll go. There you go. You guys can see that. There you go. There it is. So, <laughs> very good. It's time for a mug of tea. Uh, uh, let's see. Where is this? Oh, Meg instead of mug. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what happens with Santa from time to time, and many of you know this. I'm not. I'm not sharing something that's uh, tightly held secret. My name is Brian, but I spell it with a Y, B R Y A N. Uh, so my name is often misspelled as Brian with an I, B R I A N. But what's the most entertaining is from time to time I'll get mail or I'll get <laughs> I'll see my name listed, and they'll they'll have a little typo there and be B R A I N. So uh, you know we can. <laughs> It comes out as brain, and uh, I, the the misspellings sometimes are <laughs> are head scratchers. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to hard to uh, understand how to come up with that. Uh, all right, uh, we've talked about uh, the casting uh, for uh, for Andor. We've talked about uh, the the Mandoverse. I talked a little bit about the High Republic and uh, how uh, Yaddle speaks normal. And uh, that's good fun there. Yes, there it is. <laughs> it's like going into the going into the bar, right? Right, the Norm. The, the <laughs> there it is. Uh, so, you guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for uh, the chat and for testing this out for me. Uh, I think it's gone fairly well using. Uh... <laughs> right, Bob. Hey, Bob's your uncle. Bob, it's good to see you here again. I, we missed you. I was thinking about you just yesterday. I was watching a video and somebody said, uh, uh, and, and Bob's your uncle. And uh, actually, it, I was, and this is uh, good that we uh, that you stopped by. Uh, I am going to guest uh, as uh, the uh, this Saturday, uh, our friend over at um, <clears throat> Bosk's Bounty. 
Uh, you may be familiar, Bosk's Bounty, he reviews uh, vintage collection toys. He came into my live stream for my birthday. Well, he sent me an email and it said, hey, uh, uh, my birthday's coming up. We're going to have a birthday live stream on Bosk's Bounty. And would I come on and be a guest as part of his show? So this Saturday, this Saturday, I'm going to show up on uh, Boss Bounty's birthday live stream. Uh, he's over there in the UK where uh, Meg and Mark are at the moment. Uh, he's over there in the UK. His birthday's coming up Saturday. So look for Santa to show up at Boss Bounty uh, this Saturday. Uh, that will be a ton of fun as well. I, I love his content. And and he was, I was watching one of his uh, one of his videos and and he said and Bob's your uncle and I was like oh what happened to Bob I haven't seen Bob in a long time good to see you <laughs> oh uh, Uncle Bob is here um, <laughs> <what? laughs> very good very good uh, let's see <laughs> so Meg, Meg is uh, picking on, we have in our predictions every week, we have uh, a fill in the blank. And some of the people predict, their predictions in the fill in the blank are stuff like Wrecker Rex, Hunter will speak, uh, Hunter will take his helmet off, uh, we'll see Hunter's long hair, uh, we'll see uh, <laughs> Omega speaks. And uh, we get lots of content like that in those fill in the blanks. Now, some of us actually make real predictions. And, and, and we, we actually try to put something on there that, that, that uh, we don't know, but we, we kind of think might happen. And it's a, it's a guess, it's a prediction, but, but people started gaming it to get that point so they can show up here on the wall of fame, right there with Darth Elvis. Darth Elvis is in the building, folks. <laughs> <laughs> He's here. Hot dang. Darth Elvis is in the building. So uh, good to see you, uh, my friend. Thanks for uh, taking time to stop in. So uh, when people do their when people do their predictions, a lot of times in that fill in the blank, they're filling it in like uh, in the Ahsoka show, uh, there will be an intro and that Rosario Dawson will appear in the intro. That's that's Meg's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fill in the blank prediction. That's uh, so you just need a little context of uh, where that where that came from. <laughs> X-wing, I'm not brave enough for predictions. Come on, X-wing. The water's warm. It's it's fine. Come on in. It, it'll be good. Well, I, the worst that can happen is we'll just make fun of you. That's <laughs> and if you if you've been in in uh, Santa's live streams, you know that Santa loves to pick on uh, folks and people love to pick on Santa. Uh, Stormy's here! Hey! <laughs> Everyday Geeks, part of our Nerd Holla community. Uh, thanks for stopping in, uh, Stormy. We've got a strong prediction. We've got a strong uh, representation from uh, Europe today. And uh, <laughs> survived and on the board. Yes. Uh, and Sheev the Wise is still here. West Coast representation. We've got folks here from Europe, from uh, uh, Eastern time zone western time zone or you know uh i'm i'm fragile yeah x-wing we know no come on now <laughs> you you're not fragile you're you're a fantastic guy and uh it would be fun to fun to have you uh participating in our in our uh in our predictions so you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up uh, thank you so much for coming here. Thanks for being part of uh, our chat and, and part of this uh, uh, fun that we've had and for letting me try out Streamlabs. I think it's going to work really, really well. There's a couple pieces I still need to integrate before I can cut the cord with StreamYard, but at this point, uh, it's going really, really well. I'm very happy. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the <laughs> She, the razor crest is fragile. It's in tiny little bits. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, you know, Meg came in the first week of, of her predictions and was uh, in first place. She, she was in first place her very first week. And then what happens? She falls off and uh, right onto the wall of shame. 
uh, why you're on to wall fit shame she got less than a magic maker you see a magic maker's name up there and you don't see Meg you know she's on the wall of shame and uh, and that Santa is also on the wall of shame because I lost to a magic maker as well and then uh, we have also had Jason Ward here from makingstarwars.net and Jason Ward did a prediction one week he came in very last place and uh, we haven't seen Jason since <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so you guys, uh, thanks for being here. We're going to uh, let this uh, this show come to a conclusion. And uh, and, and it's, I think it's been a successful stream. We've had a lot of fun again. And uh, join us tomorrow. A Magic Maker will be here for our weekly uh, summary of the last episode of The Bad Batch and our predictions uh, for the upcoming episode. Uh, so look for that tomorrow, uh, normal time, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we do it during lunchtime. So thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> Meg's going for a perfect 20 out of 20 uh, uh, on the predictions this week. So uh, she's she's looking to get the all-time high. She's come in with a lot of uh, uh, resolve, determination, uh, and she's she's ready to go. She's, she's absolutely... There you go. Thank you so much, uh, X-Wing. Again, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, means a ton to me. Means a ton to our channel. And uh, you are, are uh, likewise uh, doing good work out there on the West Coast. And um, and hopefully someday we'll be able to do a collab together as we get our uh, as we get our schedules worked out. And uh, until tomorrow, my friends, until the next time we get a talk, I hope you all have a wonderful day and <laughs> may the force be with you always. Bye-bye.